Hey everyone, and welcome back to episode 601 of Fallout 4. Just, just, just look, look, look what's going on. Look, look at all these enemies. Look at all these enemies. So we're in the Mechanist Lair. We got here an episode or two back. Lots of reading, lots of lore. The Mechanist knows we're here. It's not happy about that. It sent, sent an iBot after me, okay? You only send iBots after people you don't really like. But we're here, we're reading terminals about all the things that went down, like the, uh, the overrides, the protocols, the lockdowns, the shenanigans. Uh, I did just kill a legendary robot right there somewhere. And there's another one that I saw on the conveyor belt up top, which I do want to snipe. And I really hope... I'm actually a little, a little thirsty right now. I really hope that when I kill it, it, it actually falls down. I don't know if it'll get stuck. I don't know if it'll come off the conveyor belt. I'm hoping it dies. I think it was a level 116 too, so we're gonna break this thing out. Is that it right there? No. I want to see what it has on it. Oh, there it is. So this thing, if I shoot you in the torso, okay, let's guarantee the kill. That is good. That is good to know. That is good to know. It falls down. Oh my god, the explosions. Michael Bay film. Michael Bay film. But if it falls down, I get the loot. And where did you come from? You weren't? Did you fall down too? Huh. Let's pull up some crits. Nice. Let's uh, <laughs> just take some pod chats. Oh, another. Okay, I can't let him. I can't let him. Uh, no, 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 no. I can't let you mutate. We're gonna kill you. I have. Th there are three dead legendaries in this room. Can you see them, sir? Does killing one of those legendary dudes spawn in a junk bot every time? Or unless they're all just fall. Okay, you know what? I'm actually going to uh, not kill you with. Or, do you not have a combat inhibitor? I'm not going to kill you with the Gauss cannon. I'm going to crits on you. Okay, you're already mutated. Face roll him for me, Ada. I'm waiting for my AP. AP, AP needs to go up, Ada. You, you, you hold him at bay. I'll drink some water here. Apparently, I'm really thirsty. And. Should eat my. Do I go Red Roach? Am I full yet? I am properly fed. Okay, so I got a lot of AP back. Give it a bit here. He's just like punching Ada in the head. Most dramatic robot fight ever. <laughs> Let's just lay it on thick here. I would love for some lucky charms right now. But it doesn't want to proc. Part of the fun here, guys, is going to be finding all the legendary corpses that are on the ground. So there's one, two, three. I think there are four dead legendaries in this room. I think. I think. So I just killed a shitload of legendaries. Let's let's see if we can, rec you know, recoup some of those drops. You know, sure you it seemed to be every time I killed one of those legendaries, though, a regular junk bot just appeared. I don't even know if they fell off the ceiling or if they just appeared there. I couldn't tell with the explosions. Quick draw. Damn it! I like the lever action rifle, but I don't like that uh that on a lever action rifle. That kind of seems unnecessary. So that's one, two. Uh, unfortunately, that one's kind of poopy. And I gotta find these bodies, they flew everywhere. That's two out of what I suspect to be four. Another hard hat for Preston. Two out of what I suspect to be four. So I looted you, I looted you. Let's wait, that's not two people, is it? No, it's just one. So where are the other two? <laughs> this corpse, I don't, I don't know how this dude got here other than explosions. And. Hello. I, I need to build crits. Can I get a crit? Can I get lucky charms on you? Damn it! Oh, look at you, Mr. Big Bad Level 50. Mr. Big Bad Level 50. Enjoy. <laughs> Join Goss Cannon, my friend. What you got? Incendiary studded leather. Oh. So I think there's one more legendary that remains. Please let me find it. Please let me find it. Yes! Man, that sucks though. The drops that I got were not great. Take 15% less damage while blocking or sprinting. I, I mean, some legendary drops are obviously really cool. But I was I was hoping for some really good things. Unfortunately, I didn't hit the jackpot there. I did hit the lottery. But I, but I do like the sheer amount of legendaries they threw at me just now. That was pretty cool. Mm -hmm. I'm loving the combat in this area. I don't know, I mean... I do a lot of exploring, and I do a lot of questing, and I do a lot of speaking and reading. Every now and then, it's good just to have a, a combat break where I just go and like, I fuck shit up. <gasps> per 
perfectly preserved pie! Oh, perfectly preserved pie, guys. Fuck yeah, man. And every now and then, it's it's fun just to go around and blow shit up, right? Who, who doesn't enjoy some of that? I I, I enjoy some of that. I'm, I'm guilty. Sweet. So get some ammo. Who doesn't like some ammo? Ammo's always fun. Is there anything underneath all this mess? Apparently, I cannot... I cannot fit through there, so we gotta go around. Well, that stinks. So I think I have the majority of stuff in the center here. It doesn't appear to be too, too much anyway. But I'll give it another once over. Can't go that way. Fine, game. I'll go the way you want me to, you jerk. We got in here. Plasma cartridges. Nothing. I, that's nothing I've really been using too much of. I messed with a plasma gun a while ago, and it actually did a lot of damage. My issue was mag capacity with it, so it was good in, like, a limited sense. Teddy bear with a hard hat. There Bethesda is with the teddy bears. They're always decking, uh, decking out teddy bears and shit. <laughs> I always find teddy bears with, like, cigarettes in their mouths and helmets and glasses and... This is just weird shit. I am tired from my lack of sleep. Apparently I've been here for a while. I'm not seeing anything out of these bins that I can steal. Alright, so that's good. I think we cleared this ground floor pretty well. Let's go up top. Yeah, I do have to go loot that, that, uh, that sentry bot over there. But yeah, minus being sleepy, my AP is doing really well. What do we have over here? What do we have right here? That's a weird looking lamp or whatever the hell that's supposed to be. That's space age shit right there. That is space age. Oh, come on. You can't just call something a button and not expect me to push it. Alright, I pushed the button. Not that I needed to do that because I can make the jump myself, but I pushed the button. Y you, you can't resist pressing buttons. Especially the ones that say do not push. Uh, I think that's just the... Uh, that's just against human curiosity. Like, they're going to press the button. I'm going to press the button. Dude, makeshift batteries? Keep giving me all the makeshift batteries. They are very good for resources. I'll take them. Ammo buckets, not so much. They're just heavy. Mm. Before I go in that place, I do want to go loot Mr. Robot over here. And that's what I was worried about. I might have to press this button. Open the door. Please open the door. Cool. I wanted to loot him before, like, something restricted me from looting him. Sweet. Nothing fancy on you, but I will take, of course. And there's nothing in the armor. There's never anything in there. Yet I'm always compelled to loot them, or at least check. Because the one time I don't is the one time it does. And some random drugs. So nothing overly fancy. Unfortunately, his explosion broke the extinguisher, so I can't even loot that. Ada, where are you? Are you still standing in that same spot? She is. I think I saw her. Yeah, I don't know what her. I don't know what's going on with her AI. She hasn't moved from that spot this whole time. You okay? Oh, she's broken. I didn't even notice. Sorry, Ada. She like she was standing up. Like you know, she didn't do the proper animation. No right. wonder I didn't I'd notice. That was weird. So take whatever you can here, mod wise and junk wise. I I, I can't imagine you have too too much more room for your carry capacity here. But I need to get myself underweight. Just a little bit to pro uh, to prolong my looting. Up if I can. Damn, she is still able to carry stuff. Yeah, once we're done with all of our companions that we have to keep with us for perks, I think a robot companion is what we'll be using. That carry capacity, though, that is almost grounds for getting out of power armor and uh, like running around and not having to worry about carry, or maybe even converting power armor to faster run speeds and things instead of carry weight. Because the carry capacity on them is just stupid good. There's another door that she has to activate. Maybe we'll get some dialogue here. Yay! Find anything useful? Yeah, I found some duct tape. It's pr pretty useful. Duct tape fixes a lot of things, man. Just ask Jerry. <laughs> jokes, jokes! <laughs> Extinguisher is not even in here. I bet the explosion broke it through the wall from the robot dude. So, Ada, I need you to get in here. I need you to hit the button over here for me. And that appears to be just about everything, if not everything, in here. Ada, do your magic. Use this. I don't know where she is. I think she's stuck in this room. Is she going to make that, or do I have to? Pr I probably have to press this. Ada. Hey. Can I over here. You? Go stand there. Go, go, come on, go stand there. I bet I need to lock this up. 
your AI realizes this, realizes that this is a path. Hey, I'll get it done. Move here. No problem. Uh, I think she's gonna figure it out. So let's actually get away from her. Encourage maybe a teleport. Come on, Ada. Come on. Oh, notice the hidden thingy. There's something behind this wall for sure. It's moving. We know there's something back here. Is she? Is she coming? Ada. Ada. You are hey, really just I'll taking your time. Here. You are really just taking your time. Like normally, she runs when you run. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. Like, whatever. You take your time, lady. You waddle like the penguin that you are. Look, look, look at those thunder thighs. <laughs> I love the way she runs. It's hilarious. Scan this. That didn't encourage her to run any faster. Just playing the waiting game. I'm sorry, I can't speed this up. We're playing the waiting game. Come on, Ada, do your magic. Hey, I said do your magic. Here. Boop, boop. Thank you. Okay, now what's behind door number three? Hello? Hello? A lot of security doors. I see something red right there. Uh, I don't know what that is, but I see it. Oh, there's a marker right there. I guess that means we're close. Booze! That's a good day when you find some booze. Can I open these doors or no? I cannot touch those doors. So we gotta go around. I guess we're making her open that one too. Shit. Double doors. Double security. Here you go, Ada. Over here. What is that? It's like a spotlight or a turret of some kind. It's a really weird looking turret though. Facilities wing. Hmm. Something's close. I don't know, my, my, my hidden thing keeps like... It, it's, it's, it makes me think something's nearby then all of a sudden just disappears. It, it's misleading. I'm using it to tell where enemies are, but it's not helping me right now. Yes. Ooh, Wonder Glue. I like Wonder Glue. I actually don't need any adhesives. <laughs> I see something down there. I saw you. I saw something walking. Hey, buddy. I'm helping people, you douche nozzle. I mean, like, you're the one trying to kill me. I'm a person. You're a douche. Don't die. All right, nice expl- Really weird, like, really weird explosion. Like, lingering particle effect. That was how strange. I don't, I don't know about you, Mechanist, but you're not exactly being very nice to me. Hey, Jangles. You enjoying the flick? That's some quantum that I can't reach. I'll just have to fly around. <laughs> I don't need to get any more crits off you guys. I just need to kill you. And you're a low level, so any shot will kill you. Just kill the dude coming around the corner, though. I have to break the monkey. They're, they're annoying. So you're a higher level. Uh, I'd be wasting a few shots on you. Eh, you know what? Let's just take you. Take you out. Oh, damn. I figured I'd have to use a few more shots than that. Did I get the nuclear cold quantum? I did get all the quantum. Alright. Let's fall down here. Let's get our loot. Nothing under the stairs, nothing under the stairs. Hello, Senor Bucket. Oh, they're gonna they gonna they're gonna summon some robots behind me? Yeah, I don't know what this uh this mechanist dilio is telling me like I'm I'm the bad guy here, like the robots are going around saying the best way to help people is to kill people. But but I'm the bad guy. <laughs> <laughs> hey, those green paint. I wonder if we can give that to the dude at uh, Diamond City to paint the wall. That's funny. I didn't expect to find random green paint down here. Uh, okay then, Mechanist. Yeah, just, your, your logic is a little off. Another rope at workbench. I think, I feel like they, I wonder why they put that there. I mean, unless you can repair your robot companion here instead of using a robot uh, repair kit, because they do require you to have a robot companion. I wonder why they can give me those. I wonder if there would have been a use for it. But I'm just like overlooking. There is a gas leak in here. I'll give like YouTube a second to adjust with its crappy bitrate. 
I don't know if you see that. Like, everything's sort of distorted. Like, like look at all the lines, the sharp lines on those machines in the background. Uh, there's, there's a gas leak in here, so, so shooting in here would be bad, but it's not going to hurt me because it's power armor. And the fact that I regen HP anyway, so regardless of power armor. However, getting stuck is the final boss. Okay, we're fine. I, I almost got stuck in there. Power substation. So, regardless, shooting in here is not going to be the end of the world for me, but it will probably cause an explosion. So we get to go left, we get to go right. Um, I see a scrap bot over there who, strangely enough, does not show as hostile. Let's go look at him. You don't show as hostile yet, but you're probably going to start shooting me. Just, just raiding the lockers, don't mind me. Nope, he didn't like that. Carrying all that weight is simply slowing you down. Here's where we have an explosion. Oh, nope. We're out of the gas leak. It's, over, it's only in the other room. He, he didn't show us hostile. I thought I was being nice to him by sparing him. Apparently, he didn't like it when I stole that stuff, though. That well, was just not something he was interested in. Parts warehouse. I'm gonna go actually over here first. So, Ada, I need to give you some more items. Shit, I probably should have used that dead scrap bot over there, but this will work too as a loot container. First off, let's trade right, what I can with you. For. Let's trade what I can with you. I don't know how much more room you have. I, I'm, I'm, I'm like just thoroughly impressed with the amount of shit that this, yeah, with that Ada can carry. The, the fact that we've gone this far. In fact, I think right, the easiest thing to, to do. Looking to lighten my load. If only more people asked me that question. But the easier thing to do would be to lower the amount of stuff she has by taking all the heavy crap out of her and giving her some of the lighter junk and then I'll have her pick up sledgehammers and things out of a container. That'll be a huge time saver. So 308, 38, 48, uh, and that's apparently all she can carry. That didn't work as well as I planned it. But anyway, I do have quite a few just straight up weapons on me because of all the legendary dudes. So we'll have her loot that. Four hard hats, yeah, that'll do it. Chest pieces, that'll do it. That'll do it. Alright, so that's quite a few things that we can have her loot real fast. Heads up. Grab anything useful. Looking to lighten your load. Grab if only useful. she actually, you know, take anything good. I'll take care grab that. was hinting toward that. Get that. Now, no granted, problem. I wouldn't go anywhere near that. I mean, just look at that. That that that's horrifying. That that scares me. Check it out. Certainly. Bring that here. <laughs> I'll get it done. Grab anything. But with a little useful. modification and uh, some Amazon take purchases of a flashlight, Certainly. and you'd be grab good that. to go. I'll take care Get of that. <laughs> Check it out. No problem. <laughs> uh, I'm just mildly twisted. Just mildly twisted. So yeah, this whole place is a gas leak, so something's gonna explode in here. And it'll be glorious. So prepare your butts for explosions. Nope. 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 Whole lot of nothing here. Obviously, we're getting some radiation from these reactors. We've seen these things in Vault 88 before, actually. I do remember something similar to this. I think I found them in a different vault as well. I think I found them in Vault 88 in that back room where the kids were hiding. Like the, it was like underground kind of. I mean, I know they're all underground, but it was like, it wasn't walled off. It was just dirt. It was like a tunnel. That's what this kind of reminds me of. So nothing here. No terminals that I can utilize. However, here is a terminal that I can use. Power Substation A Terminal. Can't help but think I'm probably going to need to turn power on or something. So let's do that. What do we got on this terminal? Oh, just a bunch of logs, so I can't do anything with this. Log 77, what a waste. I've been down here for almost, or I've been down here almost four months now, and I'm already getting bored. I thought I would be excited to, I thought it would be excited, what? I thought it would be exciting, I heard it her, to sign up and work for the robotics program, but when I finally got my departmental assignment, I almost quit. Power substation A, are you kidding me? Four years of electrical engineering school and they have me babysit a bunch of generators. Dude, you're getting paid to do nothing. Just pull out your Game Boy and have have, have some fun. That's what I would do. <laughs> I can strip a Mr. Handy or Protectron down to its base parts in under two hours and they stick me in here. What a goddamn waste of time. What a, what a, what a, what a, he's just full of himself. Apparently this is Brandon McDaniel. Cunning plan. After talking to Sharply about, uh, Sharply during my smoke break, I thought of a way to turn my isolation into an advantage. I've got a buddy in the civilian service who works for a vending company, and he reckons that I can make a few bucks if I stick one of his cigarette vending or cigarette machines down here. It would save everyone a trip all the way to the surface if they're out of smokes, and give me an excuse to say hi to any of the ladies that happen to wander in to purchase some. You're targeting smokers, and you're targeting smoker ladies. Hey, buddy, wanna get freaky with my stoma? 
That's disgusting. Smoking is disgusting. Anyway, I'll tell you, Sharpley's a goddamn genius. I might even help to comp him a few... Uh, I might even have to comp him a few free packs for his help. Gross. Substation B. I took all the trouble to sneak into the machine into the substation, or sneak the machine into the substation, and I just have Banks over at Substation B start complaining about the smoke. At first, I thought he was just jealous that all the ladies have been hanging around my new cigarette machine during their smoke breaks. Then he showed me all his cards and what he told me he's doing to lodge a formal complaint with Delano. If I don't make him happy, he doesn't care about the smoke. Sneaky little thief just wants a cut of the cigarette sales. Might have to pay him off to keep the brass off my back. Okay, official approval. Finally got official approval to keep the cigarette machine in, this, in my substation. I'm pretty sure free cartons that found their way onto the General's desk may have had something to do with it. Now Banks can't do a damn thing about it and he isn't getting a single penny. Looks like this electrical engineer just came out on top for once. What a douche. Also, targeting smokers. Gross. All the smokers out there are like, folks, I hate you. You're an asshole. How dare you? You, you, you dare you dare discriminate against me? No, no, I just, I just want cigarette smoke, that's it. I say it all the time, I can't stand the way cigarettes smell. Blech. Blech. Gross. Gross. Just, just not my cup of tea, okay? You can smoke your cigarettes, just uh, not near me, please. Mm, so now we're going into, what was this place called again? There's a sign in here, wasn't there? Where's the, no, where, where's the sign? Wow, oh, they're parts warehouse, that's what it was. Okay, does that mean we're gonna find a bunch of robots? A bunch of robots? I look forward to finding some new robots. Nothing here, nothing here. Power armor station. That's a different looking power armor station. Because unlike the ones you put in your settlements, it doesn't have that, like, those little legs that protrude out. Cool. I obviously don't really need to do anything with my power armor right now, so no thank you. And I love how there's enough water in here that I can fill up a bottle. It's kind of gross. I just want to drink some. Here, let's just fill it up. Want some dirty water at it? Yeah, just just some dirty water. We're gonna open this door and we're gonna get shot. Just you watch. No, nope, not yet. Oh, that dude's gonna want to shoot me. Did you hear that? Nope, I didn't hear a thing. Did you, Ada? Nope. Nope. He's dead. <laughs> he didn't even know it hit him. Wow, that was huge. We're even getting the fancy music to play. This is this is like final boss material. You know, like a gigantic robot's gonna come in here and fuck my day up. Oh, I got a missile out of that one. Very nice. I'm noticing like, like a, a haze still. I, I don't think shooting in here is gonna be a really great idea, but I know it's gonna happen. Not the greatest scrap bot. So I've learned my lesson, much like with ghouls. The little bastards hiding on the ground. Look at this one, right here. Like super creepy the way he moves. Little scrap bot. I've learned my lesson. I'm I'm, I'm going to shoot you bastards. I'm not going to let you live. Even even if you're not immediately hostile, I don't trust you. I keep getting the Grim Reaper thing to proc, but I can't get my Lucky Charms to proc. It's a sad day. Hey buddy. Hey dude. I don't think so. <laughs> They're trying to scare me. It doesn't work. I have, I full well expect you to be doing what you're doing. <laughs> uh, the, the only jump scares I think that end up getting me in this game are the ones I don't even intend to be jump scares. Just like the stupidest things. It's usually the stupidest things. Ada with that waddle though. Alright, well, let's loot the ones that I, I've i killed. I still want to go check that room over here. There was, there was something in here, wasn't there? There's a staircase. Facilities management, and it's blocked off. Oh, I can't loot the duffel bag from here. Damn. Probably have to fly up there. Anything this way, though. Appears to be. Looks like it's a dead end. Oh, that looks like it's gonna open. Like it's gonna hatch. Oh, alright, it's some kind of hatch. So I can't go there, nothing that way. So they're just going to attempt to scare me with more junk bots. Awesome. Hey, reactors. Hey, buddies. I like rads. Ooh. Ooh, I don't know if I'm supposed to be doing this. I, I don't know if this is what I'm supposed to be doing. But I can't open the door, so. <laughs> I guess it doesn't matter. Now, I probably go that way, go up the stairs and go that way. So before I think of flying up there, I'm just gonna continue the way the game probably wants me to. My ride counter is spiking. 
We may want to move. No, I love rads, but if I can't get the loot, I'll go back and do it. But I think we'll be okay. It's okay, this is why I bring power armor. What kind of fork is that? Plastic fork. It's a, it's a fancy looking plastic fork. Always find fancy things in, the, uh, in those lunch boxes. Stim pack, purified water, and a dead scientist. A, apparently a vault tech scientist. A dead vault tech scientist. I guess he gave up. Uh, can I go this way? Nope. I'm going to have to push it out of the way. <laughs> Facilities management. So this goes to the same spot that other staircase went. However, guys, it is time to wrap the episode up here. Episode 601. Good stuff. Tons of shit to kill. I'm loving how big this area is. Now, granted, this is technically DLC content, so they kind of have to, you know, make it worth your while. But it's a pretty big area. There's a lot of shit to kill. There's a lot of good loot. There's some interesting backstory. It's a, some fun times. I'm really looking forward to like the end of this if we, if we do ever meet up with the mechanist. But uh, yeah, guys, I'm going to go ahead and wrap it up here. Episode 601. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you next time.